Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at Famous Monsters number 275, 30 year edition of Ghostbusters. <laughs> So as I said, this is the 30th anniversary uh, edition of Ghostbusters for Famous Monsters magazine. As you can see, it's issue number 275 from September-October of 2014. Uh, it's got some nice little artwork here of Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, the Ghostbusters, Dana Barrett, and Gozer. So let's go ahead and open this up. Well, first let's take a look at the back. Uh, just a uh, little advertisement. A buddy of mine actually got this for me. Uh, he saw it online, thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, he was going to frame it for me, but he couldn't find a frame for it. Uh, so he went ahead and gave it to me, since he knows I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan. So I want to give a huge shout out to Casey. Uh, if you remember back at the very beginning of Come Again TV, uh, his sister Amber was on the show a few times promoting Zelda, uh, the Zelda games, as well as her own rated E for Everyone designs, which did little sprites like this one. So anyway, let's go ahead and change over the camera and we'll take a look inside. The famous monsters 275 so <laughs> I had my camera paused while I adjusted this and everything and I went to stop it and realized I had just did the entire video and didn't record it don't you just hate it when that happens <laughs> kicking myself now but here's a nice image the front cover there's nothing on the back Ernie Hudson interview, uh, producer Michael Gross and never before seen photos. It also covers Planet of the Apes, the lost interview with Roddy McDowell, uh, at death's door, Jonathan Hickman and Nick DeGrata's East of West. Uh, you got Friday the 13th uh, stuff here. Uh, Planet of the Apes. I think that's pretty much the majority this magazine focuses on is Planet of the Apes. Uh, it definitely goes into that a little bit more than Ghostbusters. Little uh, bit of trivia for you guys. John Carpenter's The Thing was actually based on The Thing from Another Planet which came out in, I want to say the 60s maybe? But my great grandfather, my great grandpa's cousin, Robert Cornthwaite, starred in the original film. He played the uh, mad doctor trying to uh, free the thing. Uh, so he also played in the, he had a small role in the original War of the Worlds. He was one of the most recognizable faces on television during the early years of television and movies. And maybe one of these days, I'll do a history and origins of Robert Cornthwaite. Because I have researched him quite a bit since we're related. Uh, my brother uh, used to send letters to him all the time and he'd get responses uh, and we found out how he became an actor and what happened between him and my great grandfather uh, that made him leave Illinois and head to Hollywood <laughs> so I'll, I'll talk about that in maybe a little a later video if you guys are interested but here we have the beginning of the Ghostbusters portion Brothers in Nuclear Arms. 
Getting to Gozer, the making of Ghostbusters with Michael C. Gross, interview by Holly Interlandi. Got some nice behind the scenes images there. Nice picture behind the scenes showing Zool uh, attacking Dana and how they managed to do that. They did a number of different sculpts on Zool and Vince Glortho. As you can see, there's a massive uh, life-size one. And then they also did smaller models. Got Slimer here. This one doesn't really look like the Slimer that we got in the movie, though. And then we get to see the guy inside the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man suit. Some more behind the scenes images. 30 years of busting. Ernie Hudson looks back on Ghostbusters. Interview by Andrew Hudson. So, I think Ernie Hudson... Uh, enjoys being known for Ghostbusters a lot more than the other three ever did. Uh, Dan Aykroyd, of course, loves the movie. He loves talking about ghosts and aliens and stuff. Uh, but I think Ernie Hudson loves it a lot more because he basically... That was the huge... Uh, the hugest movie in his career. Crow did good. Um, has a huge cult classic following. Uh, and a few other movies as well. But Ghostbusters is where he really earned his payday. And here he talks about uh, rehearsals, script changes, uh, input and improvisation. Uh, he talks about Ivan Reitman and Space Hunter. Uh, he talks about Harold Ramis, Dan Aykroyd, and Bill Murray. Uh, the lessons he learned. Uh, he talks about special effects and New York. On success, the Ghostbusters Legacy and Ghostbusters 3. Which, at the time of this video, uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife has been pushed back to summer 2021. So hopefully it won't get pushed back even further. We did receive news a couple weeks ago that they have finished production on it. So let's hope it's as amazing as we all hope it is. Uh, Ghost, uh, Ghostbusters and the Horror Comedy by Alexandra West. I would love to see a team up between the Ghostbusters and Ash. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty cool. The Ghostbusters and Ash versus Freddy vs. Jason. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Famous Monsters, number 275 from 2014. 30 years of Ghostbusters. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. And head on over to Cool Classics YouTube channel. Give him a subscribe too. Tell him Shannon sent you. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.